You good girl. Copper, why don't you go on? Go on, baby. Yeah. You, Copper. Copper, go on, baby. Go on, get. Go on. <laughs> Mexico there slightly uh, trying to do a Roscoe Holcomb tribute but uh, so the main reason is we're, we're using some finger picks today let me get up close and y'all take a look at these these were sent in by our friend Rob Torgler now Rob Rob sent me a little letter so I'll go ahead and read this out loud to y'all Rob says, uh, I couldn't decide what to send you, so I decided to send you one of everything in the hopes that you'll like something here. Feel free to share some. I sure would be honored if the great George Gibson would try out a set. Well, Rob, no guarantees, but I'll show these to George and see if, he, uh, see if he'll mess around with them. I've never seen him use finger picks, but I'm sure he has in the past. You know, he's done basically everything. There's some little tweaks you can do to make them brighter or mellower as far as uh, bending or slightly filing the tips. Okay. Uh, so he says, uh, your Patreon page is the most generous gift around, so please accept this as my thank you. Hope you enjoy, Rob. So that's cool. Rob lives in Virginia, and he's the proprietor. He sent me a sticker, which I could probably show you. He's the proprietor of this Claw Jam company. So y'all should go check out the website. It's um, the website has all the information there about this. These are pretty. These are pretty good finger picks. I like it. Clawjam.com. And he so Rob sent me a big sample. He sent me two of these little containers. They're real handy because they come. They're you know they're hard, so your picks won't get bent up and a little hook on there. So that's a pretty good idea, Rob. And of course they're made in the USA. I think Rob makes each and every one of these finger picks. So. The, the, the type that I have on now, he makes um, stainless steel, he makes copper, he makes brass, and he makes um, nickel silver. And he cuts them all himself in his barn, he says. And uh, yeah, they're really nice. I can even see here where, so the way that, you know, you see how it works there. Hmm. He's got nice little designs on them and stuff. So the idea behind it, and I guess the reason for the name, it's clawgrass. So you can, you can downstroke, or you know, upstroke, or you can downstroke with the back of it. You see that? And it's not going to break either, because maybe you guys can see it. If you look in the tip there, probably not going to be able to see this. If you look in the tip there, you'll see he's put a little bit of solder in the tip of it. So the tip is actually soldered there where it bends, so it's not going to break. And um, I'm partial to the to the metal thumb pick. He sent me some plastic picks too, plastic thumb picks. But I like this metal thumb pick pretty good. So what he's done, you see how it's got that nice blued color to it. That stainless steel that I I think he's heat uh, heat treated it, so it almost uh, case hardened it, I guess. But he calls it heat blued. So it's he basically hits it with a torch or something and heats it up.
So the one I'm using right now is the copper one. Let's try another one on. Let's try, I don't want to lose any of these. Let's try the brass one. So this, uh, I'll use the brass finger pick here. Same sort of thing. This, you can see the slightly different. This is made of brass. The last one was copper. I'm partial to copper, don't I? Yeah, I like copper. Pretty cool. I can't, it's hard to detect a difference. I think the, um, that brass finger pick, it might sound a little less bright, a little more mellow. I think, I think that copper finger pick sounded a little bit brighter. Let's try the stainless steel finger pick. So this will be, this is the stainless steel finger pick and the stainless steel thumb pick. Looks the coolest probably, don't it? stainless steel finger pick that to me sounded even more mellow than the brass I think so so far I think the copper was the brightest then the brass and the stainless steel was pretty mellow this is the nickel nickel silver finger pick let's just see what it sounds like why not I got my copper dog with me here I try not to pet her too hard with finger picks on That sounds about like the brass to me. Let's try it again with the copper. I think the copper might be my favorite. to me well guys check them out you know I'm not trying to do an advertisement or anything for the guy but old Rob was pretty generous sending me all these and I wanted to show them to y'all I actually like them um, you know one thing I didn't do was try to play it um, down picking it works that's a crazy sound 
totally works and it's really easy I didn't even try to do that before so you know I do hear from people from time to time that that they they would like to be able to switch back and forth and that they want to use a finger pick because maybe they have a, a weak fingernail or I don't know something wrong with their finger or whatever so um, this uh, this actually works this clawjam.com y'all check them out it actually does work um, and it's not uncomfortable and you can transition back and forth just like I did right there so I don't know if that's something you're interested in I would recommend it I really would I'm gonna keep picking playing with them and stuff um, Rob also makes regular finger picks that don't have a back on them too so if you want a nice um, you know affordable USA made finger pick um, I would get them from him definitely he sent me one of those too but I didn't bring it up here with me up to the woods so uh, yeah, I, I definitely recommend it, clawjam.com. And thank you, Rob, for sending that in. I'm going to keep playing with it. It's like a new little toy for me. It's pretty neat. And I haven't played with finger picks in many years, and so it kind of blows my mind to do it. You know, it's really loud, and, and you can play faster, too. So, all right. That's about all the time I have for this, guys. Thanks for looking. Thanks for your contributions. And, uh, you know, keep, keep checking us out. We'll keep working. See ya.